Now, what's in a name? A protracted war of words between the Kiambu governor, William Kabogo, and Kabet member of parliament is shaping up into a long, drawn-out legal suit in court. William Kabogo has gone to court to demonstrate that Clifford Ndungu Waititu is a totally different person from Ferdinand Waititu. Two names that the Kabet member of parliament has laid claim to. But as KTN's investigations editor, Dennis Onsarigo, reports, the tussle may be far more complicated than even what the court papers contain. Here's the lead. What's in a name? Adam Ilimani Law Courts is a legal suit pitting two politicians. Kiambu Governor William Kabogo and his latest name, he says, Kabete Member of Parliament Ferdinand Waititu. The politicians have been going at each other. Both names, Clifford and Ferdinand, are my names, and I'm using them officially. I will produce all the documents in court. I'm going to come with over 50 classmates from primary, secondary school, high school, where I was in polytechnic. I also did computer. I also went to India with so many other people. I'll come to court with over 50 classmates. I want to assume Kabogo in the day. And at stake is the coveted prize of the governor's seat in Kiambu, currently held by Kabogo. Kabogo moved to court to challenge Ferdinand Waititu's academic papers, opening a new battlefront. In court papers seen by the lead, the Kiambu governor claims Ferdinand Dungu Waititu is not Clifford Dungu Waititu. The two the Kiambu governor says are different people. He claims that Clifford Waititu actually went to school, but that the Kabete member of parliament then stole Clifford's identity and academic credentials. The Kabete member of parliament has told the court that he was admitted to Dagoreti High School sometime in 1980 as Ndungu Waititu. The school, however, says no student with the name Ndungu Waititu was admitted there in 1980, but rather a certain Ndungu Wainaina. But in another twist, the Kenya National Examination Council said William Kabogo's earlier affidavit that contained a CP examination code linked to some academic papers of the Kabete member of parliament Ferdinand Waititu had a wrong code. The Kenya National Examination Council has told the court the CPE code Kabogo had tabled in court questioning the academic credentials of Waititu was forged. But in a new set of papers, the Kiambu governor is now saying the current member of parliament for Kabeta is not Ferdinand Clifford Ndungu Waititu, but Ferdinand Ndungu Waititu. The Kabete member of parliament changed his name to Clifford Ndungu Waititu in the run-up to the 2013 general elections, a name he says he had since his youthful days, but one he rarely used. Jina nilikuwa ni mejipatia initially as Clifford. Then nilikaa nikakaa nikakaa nikaona, yes, I, uh, uh, there was a father who was, uh, who, whom I, I met somewhere, nikasikia naito Ferdinand, nikaona, yala, this is a good name. Ferdinand Waititu has insisted he joined the Goreti High School from Ruiru High School. He says he was born sometime between 1963 and 1964 as the fourth born in a family of seven. That he was the eldest son from the second home of his father, Ndogi Waititu, who had two wives. For 12 years, I was brought up by a single mother. And that is why my names are that confusing. Waititu paints a picture of a man who fought hard to go to school before joining active politics. Waititu won a parliamentary seat in a by-election in 2008 after the killing of Mbakasi member of parliament, Melitas Mugabe Were, by gunmen. Waititu will make a comeback after the fatal shooting of Kabete member of parliament, George Mushai, who was gunned down in the central business district. Waititu was back to parliament in a landslide victory. The Kiambu governor has produced in court birth certificate application forms. He says he now confirms are registered with the registry of persons at the immigration department. An official search at the immigration department confirms that a man identified as Clifford Karanja Waititu, son of Waititu Ndogi, made an application for a birth certificate on the 15th of January 1985. 
the registry of persons granted him one. The birth certificate issued to Clifford Karanja Waititu shows that the man was born in 1965 and his father is Ndogi Waititu and the mother is identified as Monica Njeri Wainaina. Then there is Ferdinand Waititu's birth certificate application form that shows that the Kabete member of parliament was born sometime in 1962 and shared a father with Clifford Karanja Waititu. The Kiambu governors produced in court these passport photographs taken on various dates and extracted from several documents which he says demonstrates that this is Clifford Dungu Waititu and this is Ferdinand Waititu, the current member of parliament for Kabete. The two people he maintains are different but share the same father. The governor alleges the resemblance is that of two brothers but the two individuals are two distinct human beings. Indeed the leaders seen two reports commonly referred to as MSG report that contains the date of Kenyan citizens as captured by the Director of Immigration dated June 2015. The reports indicate that the Ministry of Immigration has two MSG reports of Clifford Karanja Wainaina Waititu born in 1965 and that of Ferdinand Dungu Waititu born sometime in 1962. The Kabete member of parliament has rubbish claims by Kiambu governor William Kabogo that he doesn't possess a university degree. Waititu has gone ahead to table in court certificates and result slips he says he obtained as a degree student in Punjab University. Waititu maintains that he was a student at the university, took part in extracurriculum activities before eventually graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce degree. I had completed my BCom. These are my transcripts. These are my transcripts. First year, second year, third year. I did my BCom. But William Kabogo, in a fresh bunch of evidence now before the court, places Clifford Dungu Waititu at the University of Punjab between 1985 and 1988 and maintains the man who studied at the prestigious university was not Ferdinand Waititu. Kabogo says the student who received an admission letter to join the SGGS College, a constituent of Punjab University dated 8th of February 1984, was Clifford Waititu. Clifford will later apply for a passport and visa to travel abroad for further studies. Clifford was issued the passport number A055267 and was admitted to Punjab University in the same name and his date of birth is captured in the academic register of the university. The Kabete member of parliament maintained he was the man seen here in several photographs and this one which he says captured his smile after graduating. Papers seen by the lead indicate that indeed the University of Punjab admitted Clifford Waititu but he doesn't have any student in the name of Ferdinand Waititu. University regulations outline that proof of identity before one is admitted to university is a valid visa, academic papers and a passport. You can try to create issues here, but, but why you not succeed is because it's the truth. No, we are not the truth is here. Look at the passport. Yes. What do you want to verify? No, we you want to verify what, 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 what is the requirement? The requirement is that everybody who wants to compete for a governorship mm -hmm. must have a degree recognized in Kenya. That is, uh, having a degree means you yourself you are earned and you have a degree, you yourself you are earned. Yes. What's about and your national ID? The national ID? Okay. The Ferdinand. And uh, the other ID? Which one? Unless you have not understood what I've been talking Actually, about. Actually, we also not understand it. You are not because you are seeing as good as the university. We want to hear it again. The university made a mistake by admitting what? a different person from that on the certificate. No, what, 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 what I want you to know. But in a swift rejoinder, the Kabete member of parliament has filed in court papers of a colleague, he says, was at the university at the same time he was studying there. And you really think properly that this Waititu you see as if he's an Oregon, he could afford to know that education is important at that time, about 30 years ago. That is when I took off to India for, for education. The Kiambu governor told the court it will have been impossible for Mshiru to graduate with any other name apart from the one appearing in his passport. Indeed, the Kabete member of parliament says he was admitted to the university with a Kenyan passport bearing the name of Ferdinand Waititu. 
hawakunitisha kitu sasa ni kama wangenitisha ingine ningewapatia because what i could have done is just giving you the mafidavit the condition even now you ask somebody you get an affidavit it's simple you get a deed if you want to change the names permanently there there's no much issues that you can be called john then you are still tomorrow you are called john george that you want to show as if there is an offense that is an imagination you you know you let me tell you however much the media tries to create negative publicity or be to me that is immaterial provided the truth is that my tito has his statistics i am a graduate and i have the papers how you later graduate as cliff on dung waititu is what the court will have to ascertain in a new twist of things to come court papers seen by the leader accuses Ferdinand Waititu of presenting in court a forged passport for instance the passport application form has an initial f and the name of clifford has been cancelled and in its place the name Ferdinand has been added the Kiambu governor claims that Clifford Dungu Waititu's passport as contained in his file was renewed under the name of Ferdinand Dungu Waititu. This he says was the stage at which the identity theft was formalized. William Kabogo maintains the Kabete member of parliament Ferdinand Dungu Waititu was issued with his first passport under his true name on the 27th of September 2008. Waititu who has worked as an assistant minister in the Grand Coalition government says he has worked as an accountant in the Ministry of Finance. But the government employer, the Public Service Commissioner, said Waititu was never employed by the Public Service Commission. The Kiambu governor William Kabogo is insisting there is a cliff on Dungu Waititu out there somewhere, and the man currently presenting the people of Kabeta constituency is not him. The court is set to determine if Ferdinand Waititu took a shortcut in running for office as an Nairobi governor, a position that requires one to possess a university degree, or the current Kiambu governor, William Kabogo, is simply playing dirty ahead of the 2017 general elections. He has taken me to court. I don't fear also going to court. We shall be with him in court, but also expect Kabogo to face a man who is like you, or even better than you. 